In part one of this video series about sorting algorithms, we will take a look at bubble sort algorithm. Sorting can be defined as putting the items or data in the list in a particular order. Data to be sorted could be numerical, alphabetical or a combination of both, that is alphanumeric. Data could be sorted in ascending order, that is smallest to largest, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, or A, B, C, D, or descending order, that is largest to smallest, for example, 4, 3, 2, 1, or D, C, B, A. Searching for a particular data item in a sorted list is much faster than performing the same operation on unsorted list. In computer science, we use sorting algorithms to sort the lists. Sorting involves comparing items in the list to put them in the right order. And if there are a large number of items in the list, then this can take more time. So efficiency of sorting algorithm is, ver is a very important factor. There are various sorting algorithms that are used in computer science. Let's look at bubble sort algorithm now. The steps in the bubble sort algorithm are as below. Bubble sort starts by comparing the first two items in the list. If these items are in the correct order, then leave them as it is. But if they are in the wrong order, then swap the items. So if we are sorting the list of numbers in ascending order, then if the first number is smaller than the second number, then that is the correct order and we don't swap numbers, as to sort the list in ascending order, we are making sure that the numbers are arranged from smallest to largest. But if the first number is bigger than the second number, then they are in the wrong order and we should swap them. Opposite is true if we are sorting in the descending order. Now compare the second and third items in the list and repeat the above step, that is, Leave them as it is, if they are in the correct order, or swap them, if they are in the wrong order. Continue like this until you reach the end of the list. Comparing items like this, working through the list till you get to the end is called the first pass. Now repeat the above steps by going through the list for the second time. This will be the second pass, and so on. Keep doing this until there are no swaps required in the pass. At the end of this, the items in the list will be sorted. Assume that we are manually sorting the list and we only had to make one swap to sort the list. Then we humans will stop as soon as we see the list has been sorted. But in case of computers, this will only be true when there are no swaps needed in the pass. So bubble sort algorithm in such cases will have to make one extra pass even after the list has been completely sorted in the previous pass just to make sure that no more swaps are needed. Let's take an example and apply the steps in the bubble sort algorithm. Imagine you have been given unsorted list of numbers 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 and 5 that you see on your screen and you need to sort the list in ascending order that is rearrange the numbers in the list so that they are in the order of smallest to largest now let's work through the steps in the algorithm take first two items in the list 7 and 1 and compare with each other since 7 is larger than 1 they are in the wrong order, so swap them. The new list now becomes 1, 7, 2, 3, 4, 9 and 5. Now take the next two items, 7 and 2, in the list and compare with each other. Since 7 is larger than 2, they are in the wrong order again, so swap them. The new list now becomes 1, 2, 7, 3, 4, 9 and 5. Take the next two items, 7 and 3, 
and compare. Since 7 and 3 are in the wrong order, swap them. The list now becomes 1, 2, 3, 7, 4, 9 and 5. Take the next two items, 7 and 4, and compare. Since 7 and 4 are in the wrong order, swap them. The list now becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 and 5. Take the next two items, 7 and 9, and compare. Since 7 is smaller than 9, they are in the correct order, so we don't swap them. List stays the same, that is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9 and 5. Now take the last two items and compare. Since 9 and 5 are in the wrong order, swap them. The list now becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 5 and 9 and we have reached the end of the list. This is called the first pass. Now take the list as it stood at the end of the first pass and repeat the steps. Take the first two items in the list, 1 and 2, and compare. Since 1 is smaller than 2, they are in the correct order, so we don't need to swap them. List stays the same as it was at the end of the first pass, that is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 5 and 9. Now take the next two items, 2 and 3, in the list and compare. As they are in the correct order, no need to swap again, list stays the same. Take the next two items, no need to swap, so the list stays the same. Take the next two items again, no need to swap. Take the next two items, 7 and 5 in the list, and compare. Since 7 is larger than 5, they are in the wrong order, so swap them. The list now becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 9. Take the last two items in the list and compare. Since 7 and 9 are in the correct order, we don't need to swap them, and list stays the same. We have now completed second pass. As you can see on your screen, the list is now sorted, that is, all the items in the list are now in the correct order, from smallest to largest, but algorithm makes one more pass through the list to check that no more swaps are required. We make third pass through the list and repeat the steps. But since all the items in the list are in the correct order, that is, smallest to largest, there are no swaps required in this third and final pass. List remains unchanged from how it stood at the end of the second pass. And we exit the algorithm. I hope you now understand how the bubble sort algorithm works. If you are still unclear, then I would suggest you to go back from the beginning of this example and watch the video from there again.